Hi, and welcome to the topic of the day, which is language. I think we can all agree that language has power. Our words have power. The conversations we have with ourselves usually invoke feelings and then invoke the actions in which we follow through. That's part of the whole cognitive behavioral therapy, which has been a huge part of my healing. Having that awareness and catching myself when I use language that's self-deprecating or when I have conversations with others in which I'm putting myself down, it's so key that we stop that conversation. We stop that negative narrative, not only in our head, but also through what we speak. Now, ways we can do this is immediately shifting our state. I've talked about going into gratitude, but immediately catching yourself, becoming acutely aware of when that language starts to kick in. It's about becoming aware in general, not only becoming aware in our bodies and what we're eating, but we're becoming aware of what we're constantly thinking and saying and believing about ourselves and our bodies. And the only way to change that is immediately to shift your state, immediately catch yourself and say something different, to change that language. So possibly having five key words that you have set up. So if you know you're constantly kind of complaining about your weight or complaining about being tired, instantly when that thought comes into your head or when you start to speak it, you immediately shift and go into, I am powerful, I have energy, I have life force, I am capable, I am able. All these different things are really great tools to use to switch that state. You know, you gotta think about it. Our wire, we've been hardwired. Think of all the years you've been saying this stuff to yourself. It's not just gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna be a, oh, okay, I'm, everything's fine, now I'm happy, everything's great, I love myself. It's not that way. It takes a while, it takes almost years to re, what, to unwire that conversation that you've had. It's taken me a long time and I still have to catch myself with it. I've been hardwired to have certain beliefs about my body and about who I am. And the only way I can step out of that is to switch it and have a new narrative. And I have to catch myself over and over again. But slowly and surely, we can rewire it. We can have new conversations and we can step into a new sense of being with our bodies and with ourselves. So what I want you to do is have a list of written things written down. Catch yourself in those moments when you see you go into that negative narrative or when you're speaking it and immediately stop. And also when you're speaking negatively about others too. It all ties in together. I believe we're here to stand in love and purpose, and I believe that part of that is connecting with ourselves and loving ourselves. And it's not just a matter of saying, oh, everything's awesome, I love myself, because we're not always gonna be in that state. So when it shows up, catch it, change it, apply it, and slowly rewire yourself. That is the topic of the day.